Howdy! How y'all doing today? This is AppleAnapps.com checking out Bridget Jones in our latest in action video. It's a brand new bridge constructing game from Chilingo. The goal is to set up the train track so the train can maneuver over the gap on the included level and reach the end. So in this case, there's uh, multifaceted aspects of this level, so let's start with building our train track. It's simply drag and drop. You drag to pull out your little train track pieces. And then let's add in some planks to hold this uh, bad boy up. We also want to build the down system. Yeah, think of constructing an actual uh, train track. Think of uh, old classic wooden tracks, how they're pole matted. You don't need to be a structural engineer to figure this one out, though I'm sure it would help. So let's uh, try to perform this level. So we gotta raise our platform with that rock, and then we gotta come pick up this extra cargo piece, and try to make it without dropping any cargo. The cargo system, it's like a little bit like smuggle truck. Oh, it looks like our train track already closed. Well, that means we gotta build a new piece. So let's see. We gotta get rid of some of this. I can do this better. So we want to fix it to this point, and this point, and this point, and hope that this one works better. So it looks like it will. Now, going back to my previous point, it's like Smuggle Truck and similar games where you try to keep the cargo in the back, and there's uh, physics at work so it can fall right off the back of your train, and it depends on the speed that you're going. Make it across the bridge as quick as possible, like so. And that's how you complete a level in Bridgie Jones. And then there's four different objectives per level beyond completing it. So you're going to go for three stars like usual, but then we want to get all the wagons. We could have done that level without collecting the third wagon. And then don't use more than two rail pieces. that We are, we didn't do it that one, but we have before. And then we got all the crates without them dropping off in true smuggle truck style. You know, the game, it's reminiscent of Tiki Towers and other similar bridge constructing games. There's quite a few of just that physics puzzle where you got to think before you act. And then the developers have done a really good job so it's not that passive and that you actually have to control the train. And in doing so, you can actually help make up for maybe some poor track construction by driving at proper speeds and such. Oops. And then they've also done a nice job in allowing you to get a glimpse of how your piece placement will look. In the upper left corner you can see a finite view to snap those track beams in place. And then the red points are the fixed points, but in this case, there isn't one at the end track. So you're gonna have to do a little bit of a leap of faith, if you will. But that still means we need our track to be as strong as possible. You can also tap and hold to reposition the fixed points. Let's see, does this track hold? Oh, let's try it. Now see, you get to actually pilot it, the train. Oh, already crashed. So that means we need better construction on this side. Oh, 
Okay. But yeah, you get to pilot the train in the bottom right hand corner with the directional buttons. But we're gonna have to do it a bit better than that. And there's 32 levels included of this style as you're constructing your bridge. Actually, let's add reinforcement to the base. Oh, you can't in particularly. See this rock? You can't actually build bridge pieces against the rock back. So, we'll pilot this once again. And the cool thing is you can just keep editing your train track. Made it. <laughs> didn't think it would, didn't think it would. But it's easy, you can just tap that train track and then look at all these different incentives to go in and replay this level. And so now let's show you one more level. So as you advance through the 32 different levels, we're going to come across new pieces. Right now all you've seen is the train track and the wooden planks, but this level introduces rope so you can make a, a suspension bridge but I think this yeah that's too long for rope so we'll undo that and we'll balance because without it yeah the tracks not balanced see you can also get a little glimpse of how your track will unfold without actually having to play through the level. oops so then we're gonna add the brackets at the bottom to add weight. Let's see if this track is strong enough. We do have a four train car so it's quite heavy and that is how you crash. Really embarrassing like. And see right now we're trying to go after this bone which is right in the center of the screen and that might make the track a bit tougher to complete. But let's try it anyway. We're just gonna fling straight off and hopefully reach the exit so it doesn't even matter. Because you can complete the levels however you like. That worked. <laughs> Not as well as you could, but it did work. And we got the bone. So now, say you want to redo the level, and now you can shift around your construction. Let's cut these pieces. So now we can see the rope will let us make the track a little bit closer so it's not such a violent landing. And that means we can shift everything down, because we collected the bone, so now it's completely extra. And let's try... the shorter track. Since we do have four track pieces, let's take advantage of that. And make each section smaller. So now with that in mind, put on another board. Okay. And this is pretty much what Bridgie Jones entails. All different levels of this kind. And that was one perfect run. Three stars, like at that. And you can do more with that. So this is a really well-made physics puzzler as you get to build the bridge and then control the train that runs over that bridge. And there's 32 levels with 120 objectives to aim for. There's special levels along those lines in addition and that's essentially Bridgie Jones we hope you enjoyed our Apple and apps in action video and we'll talk to you next time